Hi, <clears throat> I just wanted to quickly walk through assignment three, which involves reading data into SPSS and doing some recoding in case you wanted uh, to refer to it in your own data analysis. So I'm going to um, skip over a couple of questions. The first question was actually about the survey. This is a personality survey um, taken from this document, sort of a bi the big five, and it has five dimensions multiple questions um, for each dimension. You're supposed to disagree or agree with a lot and then you add subsets up and here it recognizes that the R means it's reverse coded which means the higher um, their answer the lower you are on that um, personality scale. And so we have a data set in SPSS which has a bunch of people who answered this and here it is along with some demographic variables, there, here are their answers to a bunch of the questions. And you should be able to download that directly from the Course Tools site. Um, the first thing I want you to look at is whether there's um, uh, correlations between subsets of these questions. And to do this, we can go to uh, Analyze and then correlate bivariate. Bivariate means just two variables, so it will find the correlations between sets of two variables. And um, what I initially did was ask you to pick one particular dimension, and um, the way these are set up is every fifth, um, every, almost every fifth variable um, is along the same dimension. So I'm not just for an example, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pick ones one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And add a set that are supposed to be about the same thing. Although I might get some of this mixed up a little bit. So here's five variables that are supposed to all. Um, fit into the extraversion uh, personality factor and, and hit OK and then up in your other window should open and you'll get a table. Now each row is the same as each column and so it finds the pairwise correlation between two variables. You see along the diagonal they're all equal to one. The upper number is the correlation and then you see um, as you move along these are generally either positively correlated 0.4, 0.38, 0 0.29, or negatively correlated 0.374. The next one is the significance, and because these all come from the same personality factor, you actually expect them to be um, significantly correlated, and in fact, all of these are. Um, this is just means that on an individual question level, there's high correlation, and a correlation of 0.33 and 0.4 on an individual question level is actually pretty good. It means that these really do hang together. And so just these five, although there might have been eight or ten questions, just these five personality um, questions about extroversion seem to do really well. You also notice that there's positive and negative, and if it's, uh, so this one is probably reverse coded because it's negatively correlated with the first, and all the others are should be positively um, coded. Um, that's question four. Now, in any of these situations, we don't we want to use a composite. We don't want to use these individual variables on their own. So uh, we want to come up with an extra version scale, which is your score on this minus your score on this because it's reverse coded, plus your score on this, plus your score on this, plus your score on this. And there's other transformations that you might need to do, like average them or subtract from some baseline. Um, and to do that within SPSS, we can go to transform compute variable. And um, here is, there's already an expression here coded for one of the openness, the openness factor. But what you need to do is first type in um, uh, the new personality variable name. So I'm going to do the extraversion one, and I will delete 
this, and then you just write a formula, sort of like a calculator. And we will, if we want to do extraversion, it's 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, and 6. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 5, and 7 are reverse coded. So let's try to do this. It's talkative. I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to hit plus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is reserved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is full of energy. Oh, I need to put a plus here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus generates a lot of enthusiasm. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tends to be quiet. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, there might be a couple more, but 1, 2, 3. So we know that. Um, 2, 5, and 7 were reverse coded, so I'm going to change that plus to a minus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tends to be quiet. 6 oh, has a sort of person. We have one more. Sometimes shy. Oops. Tends to be quiet. Minus and is sometimes shy. So I'll hit OK, and now you can go back to this data view and you will see a new computed variable called extraversion, which is exactly that formula of individual pieces put together. I asked you to do this for two different factors that you sh should be able to do, but one thing to look at is. A histogram of these because um, for so for histogram we choose the variable we want and you you don't need to choose any of the others and just do that simple one and it shows you the distribution and so now we can see that a zero would be you know sort of middle introversion extroversion and we see a positive bias which means everyone's a little extroverted on this and um, some people are negative and these people might be really shy and then but most people are around fives on this which is sort of plus um, plus one on each of the six questions so uh, so that's the basic um, way of looking at an individual scale but you notice that there are a bunch of different values if we looked at just a single um, question it would only have five or six values because people were given um, that that to give their answer on, and so if we want to do a scatter plot under, um, let's see, scatter or dot plot, a simple scatter plot, and look at any two individual questions. It's not going to be that informative because there's a bunch of things on top of each one you can't see much, but if you um, do a Scatter plot of of one of these computed variables. It has many more values. So now we have this is artistic, and you see much more deviation along this axis, and we'd be able to see if there's a relationship between the two.